So are we wrong about 4K gaming? It used to be something that was like the extreme high end, but with so many TVs and OLED TVs being 4K and they're getting more affordable than ever, even regular 4K monitors that have like 144 Hertz are pretty affordable. Are people playing at 4K? I had asked all of my viewers what resolution people were playing at. Of course, these are gonna be a lot of enthusiasts and the biggest one was 1440p. And then of course, 1080p as you would expect was there, but 4K wasn't actually that far behind. Seems like a lot of people do use 4K and with technology like DLSS and FSR, which are basically upscalers, right? So let's say you're playing at 4K and you use DLSS, it's gonna you know, render the game at like 1440p for example and use AI to sort of upscale it to give you a better image but at the same time it's going to make it you know look nicer and also perform like a lower resolution that's why DLSS and FSR have its benefits so is that something that people want to use obviously at 1080p if you use DLSS it doesn't really look that good you need at least 1440p or above we're going to agree right at the beginning of the video that 1440p is going to be the sweet spot I mean I don't plan on changing people's minds towards 4K, even though I think the crispy resolution really does make a nice difference if you have the hardware for it. Let's actually put it to the test. Can something like a 3060 Ti, which is an eight gigabyte GPU from a few years ago, easily found in like the $300 range. And of course the newer version, the 4060 Ti, we all know about that, not something you should buy. Does the 3060 Ti handle 4K at all? What happens if you put a modern game that's known to be VRAM intensive and known to be pretty demanding on something like a 3060 Ti? And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click Act Activate. And now let's go back to the video. I mean, let's take a look. I fired up The Last of Us on PC. Now this is gonna be the newest patch with the newest NVIDIA driver. That has gotten a lot better. Optimization is a lot better than when it was initially released. Let's see, let's start off something that you know, most people wouldn't do, but let's see what this GPU can handle and how we can get it to about you know 4K 60 FPS and it still look good or if we have to settle on 1440p. So starting at at 4K, let's turn off, of course, any type of, you know, the, the resolution super sampling, DLSS, and let's leave it at 4K. Let's put it on Ultra, and we do get this nice little warning here that our VRAM is gonna be completely, not only maxed out, but it's going way over the limit. And then, of course, with like rebar support, you'll see our system RAM utilization is also gonna be really high, like over 20, you know, gigabytes. That's why I think 32 gigabytes of system RAM, not talking about GPU VRAM, 32 gigabytes of RAM is probably going to be the standard because with all of these games using up VRAM and with, you know, rebar, resizable bar and things like that, you can definitely use your RAM as well. It's going to be a nice big benefit. So as you can see, 4K at ultra with no super sampling on the 3060 Ti isn't really the best experience. You're getting like 17 to 20 FPS. Definitely not something that you want to spend a lot of time in. And even though it still looks okay, um, remember, eight gigabytes of VRAM isn't gonna even load all of the textures that like something like a 4090 may load at the same settings. The same settings do not imply the same graphical look. I'm not even talking about performance because the GPU is not gonna load the same amount of textures as something with higher VRAM, just something to keep in mind. But here, if we then turn on a DLSS, of course, let's first try it on quality. You can see we do get a nice little bump, a nice little improvement. Now we're gonna be a lot closer to maybe like 30 frames per second or thereabouts. Still not ideal. You can definitely play it. I mean, a lot of consoles even only go up to 30 FPS in certain games. So it's definitely playable, but it's not really that ideal experience. We can see as we mess with the settings a little bit, we can drop it down to high even, and then we can even try to do like DLSS performance to see what would happen. 
And of course, I think in order to be able to really get that, you know, 60 frames per second a little bit easier, we may actually have to drop it down to perhaps 1440p. When we do drop the resolution down to 1440p, even on the 4K monitor, now you can see that it's much easier, even with the LSS on quality, to get around that 60 FPS mark. Even if you have it on high ultra, you're going to get probably a little bit less. So to hit 60 FPS, you can definitely do it with a 3060 Ti on pretty high settings, but you have to go to 1440p. Now, in order to be able to reach that same metric at 4K, what really would we have to do? I think we're going to have to obviously drop it considerably lower. Obviously, you're going to have to start dropping those settings to medium and even low, and then you're going to have to use DLSS performance. You can see here, when we have the settings set to a lot lower resolution, you can see here at 4K, if we set the settings lower to medium and then low, and then we have something like, uh, you know, DLSS performance, and even per perhaps on DLSS quality, you're going to start to see a lot more issues pop up that we didn't see with the higher settings. For example, a lot of that artifacting, you can see it on the characters. You can see a lot of things pop in and out of the environment. So you're going to start to get a lot more glitches when you're using even like DLSS, when you start to use the performance mode and when the settings are a lot lower and when you don't have enough VRAM to really be able to take care of everything that's going on. So I guess that kind of shows you that, I mean, you can do 4K on something like a 3060 Ti, but there certainly are compromises. You're going to have to really tweak those settings. You're going to have to become a master at every single game, either really doing a high level of DLSS. If there's DLSS 3 in like a 4060 Ti, obviously that has its benefits, but on a GPU that doesn't have it, like a 3060 Ti, you're going to have to do like DLSS balanced, maybe performance. And if you want to do 4K 60 on this game, at least, you're definitely going to have to drop it down to, you know, maybe medium or low, or else you may still be happy around 40 frames per second, but you're just going to have to make sure that you're using DLSS. It's still a pretty decent experience. I mean, you don't get as much latency, perhaps, with frame generation DLSS 3 as you would get with that. So the performance is still pretty good, but you do get those artifacts and obviously it's probably just a better idea to go and do 1440p. So I guess to answer the video's question, I mean, even though you can do a 3060 Ti or even a 4060 Ti at 4K, it makes a lot more sense to keep them at 1440p at most. Maybe 1080p is better and more ideal, but 1440p, I think it's certainly doable with a 3060 Ti. You can have pretty decent settings. You don't have to put everything on low. And using DLSS, you're going to be able to, you know, have a little bit better, you know, graphical fidelity and performance. 4K, definitely pushing the 3060 Ti. We're going to see what GPU can actually perform decently at 4K. Maybe the next one will start to try like a 3070, maybe a 3080. Maybe one of those will give us sufficient performance at this resolution. And let's see what happens. Let's see what the minimum for a decent 4K experience is. Obviously, 4090 is overkill, but I don't think you need a 4090 for 4K. It may be a little bit of a compromise. You may have, Maybe it's like a 4070 level GPU that is actually not ideal, but usable at that resolution. All right, guys. So remember to subscribe. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you guys on the next video.